Hi friends, this is Trish and welcome to Teacher Therapy. Today I saw a video that just reminded me why teachers are so stressed out and why they're afraid to say no or correct a student in 2023. There's a viral video going around of a substitute teacher that takes a student's cell phone because they weren't supposed to have it out and then the student blows up and gets mad and goes up to the substitute's desk to try to physically take the phone back after arguing and offering up all kinds of excuses. The sub warns the student to not touch her and to get out of her space and the student proceeds to attack the teacher and the teacher fights back. I feel really bad for the substitute teacher to even have to be put in a situation like that. In a split second, she had to make a decision about whether or not she wanted to risk going to the hospital versus whether or not she wanted to risk losing her career. Even though this is a really extreme situation, I think it captures the heart of the kind of stress that teachers are constantly carrying every time they have to tell a student no or redirect them. At least when I was in the class, Classroom, I felt like there was always some kind of negative interaction when that happened. It could be as quote unquote small as the student rolling their eyes and arguing back, or there could be some kind of temper tantrum. But I found that there was a lot more sneaky types of retaliation. A lot of times it involved them going to their parents and spinning some kind of huge tail and blowing it out of proportion and having their parents come back. And sometimes it involved them just gathering all of their little friends and working together to make the rest of the school year a nightmare. And the truth is you never know exactly what's gonna happen when you correct somebody. So the body is constantly getting flooded with cortisol and fight, flight, freeze hormones. And so even if we don't have to worry about physically being attacked, that stress is still there all the time. To me, it also speaks to the ridiculous levels of entitlements that unfortunately too many students have these days. They believe that it's their right to do whatever they feel like all the time and they don't want anybody telling them any different. And on top of all of this, I think it points to a lot of ineffective school policies regarding discipline. In the last 10 years, there's been a lot of pushes to reform the way we discipline, which means not removing disruptive or even dangerous students from the classroom. Some people have really fought to remove all types of resource officers from schools. Suspensions and expulsions are highly frowned upon. So there's a lot of students that have the potential to be this way that really know that it's a high probability that nothing is going to happen to them. Then we have all of these talking based restorative circles and talking consequences, which don't amount to any consequences at all. And this has left a lot of students really emboldened to torment their teachers and their classmates in various ways. Unfortunately, we're also finding out that lots of times schools are waiting for the worst possible scenario to happen before they act. So more and more teachers are just refusing to put themselves in all of these crazy scenarios by sort of letting students do what they want as long as they're not being too noisy or disruptive. So I don't have all the answers, but all I could hope is that there can be a return to parenting where parents teach their children how to treat their teachers. And I hope that schools can come up with more effective discipline practices that actually offers enough consequences that are going to be deterrents to students. And if students refuse to comply with school rules, then there needs to be an alternative education system for those students. I'm personally just afraid that this situation of students attacking teachers is only going to get worse. There was already a story like this maybe a month and a half ago where a teacher got brutally attacked by a student for taking away his Nintendo Switch. So I'm curious what you all think in the comments. What do you think should happen to this student? What do you think the substitute teacher should have done? What do you think you would do in a situation like this? And what do you think it'll take to reform this generation where these kind of things are not happening so often? Let me know your thoughts. Have a great day, you guys.